this is a good announcement. This is a big win for uh, the Scottish financial sector, but also a, a vote of confidence in, in Scotland's renewable potential. I mean, right across Scotland, from the Northern Islands uh, uh, to the southwest of Scotland, there are amazing potential for renewable generation of, of electricity. We know in the near term we're going to have to supply about a third of the renewable capacity across the UK, across these islands, will come from Scotland. And in the longer term, when you look offshore, then perhaps a quarter of the continent of Europe's renewable electricity generation potential is in Scottish uh, waters. So it's a vote of confidence in the financial sector, uh, but also a vote of confidence in the amazing renewable potential of Scotland. Scottish Enterprise has been leading a, a campaign on this along with Edinburgh Council, supported across the political parties in the, in, in the Scottish Parliament. In fact, so keen were we to try and stake our claim that over and above our normal contribution, we also contributed another £100 million of the fossil fuel levy to help capitalise the, the Green Investment Bank. So we've got a big stake in this, a stake now and a stake uh, uh, for the future. But it's an indication that uh, financial expertise in the Scottish financial sector, particularly in asset investment, is very strong indeed. And the renewable potential of Scotland is unrivalled in the world. And we've identified, because we have the low carbon funding, the investment conference every year in Edinburgh, uh, which was rather a signpost of why Edinburgh had a great claim for, uh, for the Green Investment Bank. But one of the things we've identified is that an element of public sector involvement in, in the big deals can help lever in uh, the, the massive amounts of private capital. Uh, and that's the objective of this bank, of course. It's not to fund projects, it's to help by participation lever in very substantial private resources. And we've already had, of course, huge companies like Mitsubishi, like Samsung, have chosen Scotland as the location for the future developments. In the next few days, we'll have further announcements demonstrating the potential of local Scottish companies have in entering this sector. Because the Green Investment Bank will be financing things across a range of green policies. And we want to be engaged and, and very much part of that process as well. So we've, we've devoted a quite a substantial Scottish stake in this bank. Uh, and we hope that it operates as we would wish it to do. I've asked the business secretary, Vince Cable, for details of the staffing levels in Edinburgh. I want to make sure that in terms of the seniority and the ability and in terms of the, the way the bank's going to operate its business. We want to hit the full potential. Currently, of course, uh, the UK Treasury is the only shareholder. Uh, I would hope, uh, given constitutional developments are likely in Scotland, that, that we'll soon have a Scottish government co-shareholding as well.